Hey everyone, it's Phil Naylor, Avid Customer Success. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to activate your new Symphony option. Now, I'm going to assume in this video that you've already downloaded, installed, and activated Media Composer 7.0. After entering your download code on the activation card, you were brought to your products page containing activation IDs, serial numbers, and installers. While we don't need any installers for this process, you will need to get your activation ID for the Symphony option. This can always be found under My Products inside your master account. If you have had Media Composer and just purchased the Symphony option, you should have received an activation card. In that case, follow the same procedure as when you activated Media Composer. This is done by entering your download code inside avid.com slash activation card. From there, you will receive an activation ID for the Symphony option. If you need help with this process, please see my video on activating Media Composer 7. There's a link inside this article, or you could search the knowledge base for Media Composer 7 activation. So let's take a look. I've gone ahead and opened Avid License Control. You can do that by following these paths. Once ALC is open, you'll notice that Avid Media Composer 7.0 has been activated. And down the bottom, there's a Symphony option with an Activate button to the right. Simply choose Activate. I'm connected to the internet, so I'll choose Continue. One point is, if you don't have an internet connection on this particular machine, and you need to do an indirect activation, please see the video for indirect activation. That is also linked inside this article, or, again, you can do a search in our knowledge base for indirect activation. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. The system ID should auto-populate because it's already been activated with Media Composer 7. So all I have to do is enter my activation ID and then choose Activate. As always, you'll be prompted to register your Symphony option. We always recommend that you do so now. Always easier to receive support once you've registered your product, but you can choose No if you'd like to do it later. And there you have it. It's really that easy. This is what Avid License Control should look like. Avid Media Composer 7.0 is activated. And at the bottom, Symphony option activated, green check mark, and successfully activated at the bottom. Enjoy all the new capabilities that you have now that you have the Symphony option activated.